Hello to anybody who may or may not be watching this video. My name is Original Hawk, and today we are doing something greatly different from the majority of our videos. Today we're going to be unboxing the Aver Media Live Gamer Mini. It is a capture card that I got recently, and yeah, uh, I am going to be testing it, seeing what its performance is. It has pretty great reviews online. I want to put those reviews to the test. So, um, the reason I chose this capture card was the reviews are online and it's it seems like it has really good performance and for uh, compared to most high-end capture cards like elgato that that's the first thing that i thought of when, when i thought of capture card elgato right so compared to like the elgato hd60s this is a lot cheaper and provides similar performance and it seemed to come from a reputable company with good reviews and many people bought it so I just thought, why don't I try it out? This is $95 compared to, I believe, $170 for, Elde for the Elgato HD 60S. And yeah, let's open it up. And this is a plug and play capture card. So I don't have to install drivers. Well, I think I do have to install software, but drivers, I don't have to do any too much configuration at all. Yeah, oh, that, that is a lot smaller than I expected. It's bigger on the box. Yeah, it is a bit bigger on the box. But yeah, this is a lot smaller than I expected. It's um, touchy on my pass-through, so I would say I, I bought this to use with my Nintendo Switch, and I plugged the output in the Switch to the HDMI in, and then the out, HDMI out goes to my TV, so I can still play. And then there's a micro USB that goes to my computer. All right, so I've got the cable unraveled and the quick guide out. So it seems, let me read it from the start. It seems pretty straightforward. I got everything out, the capture card, the guide, and the cable. And yep, nothing, nothing notable. All pretty standard stuff in the bag. More warranty. I, I, I don't even know what all that fine print stuff is. Also, other languages. So, uh, I think I'm gonna get straight to setting it up. All right, I have my computer all set up here. I have the line for my Switch. With a ridiculously tiny capture card. That's this one. Then I have a line from the capture card. This one to the TV. And then this line over here, it's a micro USB to USB A that runs straight into my computer. And I think I'll hop right into OBS and see if I can set up a source. So I am back in OBS. I have two sources set up audio input capture and video capture device. These are both hooked up to the Live Gamer Mini capture card. And that is in turn hooked up to my Switch. Now, I have done some tests, and it seems fine. I'm going to do even more testing, see if it holds up. And, yeah, but so far, out of the box and all set up and working, it, it feels like a great capture card. And, yeah, it works well. It's really easy to set up. If I had, hold, if I had all the cables routed properly and the back of my TV was in a complete mess of cables, I could have gotten this set up in like literally five minutes. I, overall, I think it's a really great capture card. Um, for the price, way better than like uh, Elgato HD60S, which is like 75 or so dollars more expensive. And yeah, anyways, that's gonna be about it for this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Bye for now.